Hey everybody, today I'm going to share with you my Cerisa bonsai tree. This is brand new to me. This is something I bought at a plant nursery just yesterday. And actually I've never had a bonsai. So I've had to research before I even make this video. But the idea is that today I'm going to prune it and we're going to talk about bonsai as a beginner. So if you have all the expertise of bonsai, you might want to watch and maybe comment and give me ideas of what we can do better. But this video is really designed for somebody who's getting into bonsai or they just want one bonsai or this is the first time I ever heard about bonsai. And if you do learn something, make sure you hit that like button. This is a Cerisa tree, which is a subtropical plant. Um, it likes the warm weather and it's not really going to like anything less than 39 degrees. But the guy that sold it to me told me that this was 10 years old and it's been in this very pot for 10 years. So the actual meaning of bonsai is that it is contained, it is kept and grown in a container. The dictionary says it's an ornamental tree or shrub grown in a pot and artificially prevented from reaching its normal size. It is actually an art that first started with Chinese horticulture and progressed through Japanese uh, Zen Buddhism to kind of imitate what's in nature. So you actually can create a bonsai out of any species of tree. This just happens to be a cerisa. And I'm kind of interested to see how that's gonna work because supposedly when I start pruning this, it's going to have a foul smell. That's the only time that I will have it. Whenever you, you prune it is when you have that smell. Other than that, it's also called the plant of a thousand stars or a thousand, yeah, something like that because it has a lot of flowers, a lot of little white flowers all over the place. You can prune this basically any time of the year, except when it's flowering. That's probably not a good idea. You probably wanna wait till after it flowers, but the absolute best time for you to prune it Wait a minute. When I actually researched when was the best time to prune this Cerisa, I got lots of different answers. A lot of people said that early spring was absolutely the best time to prune. But other people said that Cerisa is so prolific that you can actually prune any time of the year. So I know that I don't want to lose flowers whenever possible, so I usually like to wait till after it flowers. I've never shaped one, and the idea is to kind of give it your own artistic flair. I know that professional bonsai people have like a little table tray thing that goes around so I just actually took a kitchen Lacey Susan and I'm going to use that to be able to turn it around and shape this thing. There is a lot of new growth on this Cerisa so we need to go ahead and take the, the new growth first. The way we're gonna start is that we're going to not cut the hardwood. This one is more established and it's already hardwood, but this one's or the soft wood is the new growth. And that's actually where we are going to start the process. So I watched a guy who is really good at bonsai and he has lots of expertise. He has a YouTube channel called Heron's Bonsai and I believe he's out of uh, Britain. I'm going to list his video in the description about tools. But basically he said, and let me share with you, that you can use something as simple as the regular garden pruner that you may have or scissors. Like because back in the day, this is an art that's been going on for 2000 years and in the japanese actually cut their bonsais with a regular knife okay and then now as we're getting better and better at the art there are a lot more tools available in the market for cutting and pruning a bonsai tools that you can use to cut the um you know the stems uh, things that you can use to cut the trunk there's different things that you can use that are really good tools um, for your bonsai uh, art but if you are a beginner and you don't want to invest in any of these um, tools you can use any of these things i've seen people just use regular scissors the fancier the better probably but the other thing i wanted to mention these are some um, fiskars pruners that i have for the garden and so what i did is take some regular alcohol and a little cotton swab and I just <clears throat> used it to clean them off. Okay, so I clean them because 
when I work in the in the garden in the rest of my garden I could have some diseases and I don't want to transfer that onto my bonsai this is probably a more delicate type of plant so after I've done that I'm just going to use these pruners and the thing that I was reading that you're supposed to do is take off kind of like give it an overall shape I consistently tell people that if you are to prune a plant you shouldn't prune more than a third of the size of the plant that is for any plant in my garden I try to be conscious like kind of like when you get a haircut you don't want it too much sometimes you're not ready for a full-blown like shave right so they feel to me they're ener they have energy right and they feel it so you want to be mindful so today I'm basically going to just cut a third of the, the size of the plant I had seen a guy before and that's another video that I watched where he had a cerisa and he started shaping it because he wanted his bonsai to look like an acacia tree from Africa and you can shape them all kinds of ways for example you could have little um, like uh, rounded little bulbs here you could twist I've seen people twist their bonsais I've seen people make them round you can basically do whatever it is that you want but since I know that you're supposed to start with the newest growth first that's really what we're going to do right now it stinks can you smell it cameraman oh my god it smells bad can you smell it no that's my husband he's a cameraman he's awesome Our strawberry uh, begonias which happen to grow and underneath and the guy told me that this could very well do in this pot which is not a fancy pot for several more years I kind of would like to have a nicer pot and make it give it a lot more reverence than what it has right now so as a reminder of what we started with this was a cerisa that was a little bit more overgrown and uh, kind of wilder and we started shaping it this way the last thing I want to do is get a tiny bit more refined but not too much we still don't want to overcut too much and so I'm going to just kind of uh, perfect the cuts <laughs> as much as a beginner like me can perfect the cuts Please take this with a grain of salt as you know that I am learning this process. I am thinking this is going to be fun. And I've also heard the cerisa is not the best uh, first bonsai plant to have. So, hey, I have gardened quite a bit in the past, but have never had a bonsai. So I'm hoping that this process works out okay. I also noticed that each of the branches that are coming off of the main uh, trunk have their own little clusters of leaves so if I wanted to I could also focus on these little clusters and make them more uniform which is I think the direction that I'm wanting to go which would make it look more like a bonsai because I noticed for example there was a a little branch right here that actually was crossing over to the other leaf uh, cluster so what I decided to do is just clip it off and as you can see it gives it more airflow and it kind of defines those little clusters that I was talking about so look right here this is actually what that looks like if you look at this branch right here it's following and at the end it has the little cluster it's well defined now the last thing that I did was a little bold was cut off one of the branches that also was going to the other side and kind of kind of getting in the way and not giving any solid shape so I didn't want to do this on this first cut but I decided I was going to go for it and use my pruners to trim that little branch off and immediately you can see when you are taking off those ones that cross over you can see a lot better shape um, I didn't want to do any more than just that one plus this is somewhere where your tool um, that's more specific to bonsai would be definitely helpful 
So there you have it. This is what I ended up with on this first round. I felt like I cut quite a bit, maybe even more than a third. Hopefully that the Sarisa will be just fine. And I definitely feel like it looks more like a bonsai. The whole art is also being patient and waiting for the different cuts. So I will probably make an update video to let you know how it's doing and how it has progressed. <music>